What's going on everybody? Welcome back to Retro Aviation. Hope you guys have a fantastic day today. And today we have the October 2022 Dallas Fort Worth International Airport update for you guys. I really hope you guys are excited for today's video. Today we have a loaded DFW update for you guys. Tons of awesome movements today and a lot of consistency to say the least. I really hope you guys are excited for today's airport update. And without any further delay, let's get started. <clears throat> Alrighty, so we're going to begin right here with this Learjet 75. This guy's currently taxing in after landing. This guy's currently making a non-stop service today in from Santa Fe, New Mexico. This guy's going to have a continuing service today over to the Shreveport, Louisiana area. Very nice. Next in line, you're going to find this American Airlines Airbus E319 with the fence tips. This guy's going to make a non-stop service today in from Little Rock. This guy's going to have a continuing service today out to Bosman. Very nice. The Mesa House of Receiver D-900 for American Eagle right here is currently coming in from Bloomington, Illinois. And this guy's going to be continuing out to, uh, uh, I'm sorry, I lost it, Panama City. <clears throat> and then next up, we have the FedEx Express Boeing 77200 freighter. This guy's making a non-stop service today in from Newark. And this guy's going to be turning right back out there. Excuse me, I apologize. And then right here, we have this American Eagle Ember Ear J-170. This guy's currently making a non-stop service today in from Keeneland, Texas on the turnaround. And also, I do want to apologize. I wasn't able to do a ton of research for this airport update, so I apologize. Some routes have changed and all that fun stuff, but definitely expect more applicable and um, consistent news uh, very soon. It's like August 5th today, so I apologize. The American Airlines 737-800 is currently texting in after a non-stop service today in from uh, San Del Cabo. This guy's continuing today over to the uh, San Antonio area, right back down there. And then here is the Terminal East satellite, as you guys can see. So we'll begin right here with this American Eagle CRJ-700. This guy's currently making a non-stop service for SkyWest today in from uh, Baton Rouge. And this guy's going to be continuing out to Fort Wayne. And then we have multiple American Eagle aircraft right here, as you can see. Uh, sorry about that jet bridge. But here are multiple Ember Ear JS-145. So we'll begin with this first one. This guy's currently making the non-stop service today. <coughs> excuse me. In from Midland, Texas. And this guy's going to be continuing today out to uh, Gulfport. And then we have another Embry Ear J-145. This guy is currently coming in from Birmingham, Alabama and continuing today out to San Angelo, Texas. We have uh, two more down there. The first one's currently coming in from uh, Albany, Texas. And this guy's going to be continuing out to Springfield, Illinois. And the uh, next one is currently making the nonstop service today in from Stillwater and is going to be having a continuing service today over to uh, Jackson, Mississippi. And lastly, at the very end, you have the CRJ-700 for SkyWest. This guy's currently making a non-stop service today in from Fargo, South Dakota. This guy's going to be continuing today up to South Bend, Indiana, of course. Very nice. Uh, we will do Terminal E first. We'll hit up that here in a little bit. So really nice Terminal E lineup, as you guys can see. So we'll begin right here with the two SkyWest CRJ-700s. The first one on your right is currently coming in from Amarillo, and this guy's continuing up to Columbia. And then you have the second one right there off to the left. This guy's currently making a non-stop service today in from Harlington, Texas, and this guy's going to be continuing out to Huntsville. Spirit Airbus E321 is currently making a non-stop service today in from Cancun. This guy's going to have a continuing service today out to the Los Angeles area. And then the Airbus E320neo is currently coming in from Lance Hartsfield Jackson International Airport. And this guy's going to have a uh, following service out to Chicago O'Hare. Frontiers Airbus E320neo is Colorado Bighorn Jeep today. This guy's kind of making a service in from Denver, and this guy's going to have a continuing service today over to, um, again, sorry, some of the routes are getting cut soon, some aren't, so we'll go with Buffalo, New York. I think that's one that's getting cut soon, so we'll take Buffalo. Delta has a really nice looking section today. We'll begin with their Airbus A22300. This guy's currently coming in from Salt Lake City, Utah, and this guy's going to have a continuing service today up to Minneapolis, St. Paul. The Airbus E320 in the middle right there is currently making a non-stop service today in from Salt Lake City, or I'm sorry, I did Salt Lake City, my bad, Los Angeles, and this guy's continuing out to Atlanta or Citrus Aviation's airport. Be sure to check out local fan pictures and subscriber routes. Your link's in the description for that. A220-100 is currently coming in from New York, Gordia, and it will be continuing out to Boston. And lastly, on top, you have an Airbus A321. This guy's currently making a non-stop service in from Lance International, or Hartsville-Jackson, of course, or Citrus Aviation's airport, too. And this guy's going to be making the turnaround back out there for us today. American Airlines is Boeing 787-8 is looking very nice right here on the stand. This guy's kind of making a cargo service over to the uh, Seoul area. I know they do a variety of stuff, so I apologize. That's a little outdated by the time this video makes it out, so I apologize. And a really nice looking uh, section over here of American Airlines mainline aircraft right here at the Terminal D extension. We go with the 737-800 uh, with the logo on the wing. This guy's currently coming in from Tulsa. This guy's going to have a continuing service today up to Fresno, California. The Allegheny Airbus E319 is currently coming in from Milwaukee. And this guy's going to be continuing up to uh, Sarasota, Florida. 
And we have two more 737 variants down there. That 800 in front of you is currently coming in from, uh, let's go with Hartford. This guy's gonna be continuing today over to the uh, Richmond area. And then we have a 737 Max down there at the very edge. This guy's currently coming in from Miami. It'll be continuing out to New York's Gloria International Airport. And next in line over here, transitioning perspectives, we have the Qatar Airbus E350-1000. This guy's gonna make a new non-stop service today in from Doha. What a beautiful aircraft this is. I'm still very, very glad to have it. And man, it looks really, really nice. So beautiful job, great job by Aviation 400. And this thing is so nice, take a look. Very glad to have that, that's awesome. Alrighty, so there's a little bit better perspective of your Delta, and then here is all your additional mainline aircraft for Terminal E. We'll begin over there with the JetBlue Airbus E320. It's trying to stabilize the camera. There we go. And the high-rise tail, this guy's currently coming in from New York, John Kennedy, and continuing out to Boston. Hopefully, we get some more variety there soon in the 220 model. We may already have at this point. Who knows? But hopefully, at some point. Alaska 737 MAX 9 is currently making a service in from Seattle, and this guy's going to be having a turnaround service out to Portland. So, well, not a turnaround, but service out to Portland. So, it been nice to see their progression on those services. United Stars and Bars, Airbus E320 is currently coming in today from Chicago O'Hare, and this guy's continuing today out to San Francisco. And the 737-700 is currently coming in from Newark today. This guy's going to have a continuing service out to Houston Intercontinental. Lastly, the Air Canada Express Emirate Air J-175 is currently coming in from Montreal. This guy's going to have a continuing service today out to um, Toronto Pearson, of course. So very nice to see that right there. That's absolutely awesome. Here is the beautiful looking international concourse at Turnable D right here. We have several awesome aircraft to dive into, and I think I'll do it from this perspective for different. It looks kind of nice. So we'll start over there on top with the American Airlines Airbus E321 with Sharklets. This guy's currently making a non-stop service today in from Nashville, and this guy's gonna have a continuing service today out to Atlanta. And then the Boeing 787-9 is currently pushing back. This guy's gonna have a non-stop service today up to Paris Charles de Gaulle in France, of course. This guy came in earlier today from Madrid. So nice variety there. Hope to get a good mold 777 or 787 for American at some point, and that'll be absolutely awesome. Now I also I apologize that the other 777s not in here. This can pre-record way in advance, and that model ended up coming broken in the first unbox. So hopefully that's been replenished at this point. Uh, nevertheless, we do have this version of the American's 777-300ER. Uh, operating out the London Heathrow. I believe they're still only on London Heathrow. Could be completely wrong, uh, but hopefully the November update will give us a better representation of that if it has changed. So, But that's been American's workhorse and backbone, to say the least, during these times. Here's their Boeing 777-200ER. This guy's going to make a non-stop service today in from Frankfurt. And this guy's going to have a continuing service today out to... Um, I'm trying to think if there's any 777 routes that uh, I missed for international stuff. Rome, there we go. So this guy's going to be heading out to Rome for us today. Very nice. Alrighty, so uh, over here on this side, has been looking really good. I may end up turning this gate uh, for at least the moment into the new international gate until I have more time to get a new layout here. So for the moment though, we have this Emirates Boeing 777-300ER, of course, coming in from Dubai in the United Emirates. Hopefully it's a 777-300 at this point. It very well could still be the 200, but we'll have to see how that gate propping up just was an absolute fail. So nevertheless, this is a beautiful looking plane and I'm very glad to have it to say the least right there. It's very nice. Excuse the ground service equipment that got uh, kind of messed up when I shifted the tables, but we'll kind of just do a little bit of this. There we go. We have the Japan Boeing 787-9. This guy's currently making the non-stop service today in from Tokyo, Narita. Yes, that's uh, the 787-9 currently. It's going to be heading back out there. I believe Haneda is a three-weekly triple three, which is quite unique to say the least. So very happy with those efforts. And yeah, the International Asia push here in the morning is looking really nice to say the least, as you guys can see. And then we have this uh, uh, Korean Air Boeing 787-9. Glad to get this in here. It's been a little bit. This guy's kind of making the non-stop service, trying to get the camera to kind of focus out, but looks like this will do. This guy's currently coming in from um, Seoul, South Korea, of course. I'm gonna be making a turnaround back out there. I think Korean's doing pretty well. Uh, hopefully we'll get the 777 back at some point, but for now we got the 787, probably for the indefinite future. American Airlines Terminal C's lineup's looking really good. So here's the Astrojet 737 to begin right here in front of us. This guy's currently making a non-stop service. Sorry about that. This guy's currently making a non-stop service in from Baltimore, and this guy's gonna be continuing today up to Kansas City. American Airlines Airbus A319 with the America West Retro. This guy's currently making a non-stop service today in from Charleston. This guy's gonna have a continuing service today over to the Minneapolis-St. Paul area. American Airlines 737-800, this guy's currently making a non-stop service today in from uh, Norfolk, and this guy's going to be continuing out to San Jose. And then the Sharklet Airbus E319 in the very back over there, this guy's currently pushing back with a non-stop service out to Key West today. This guy came in from Houston Intercontinental, very nice. Uh, we do have various aircraft back there, so we'll kind of cover them from this perspective. There's a CRJ-700 for SkyWest uh, currently taxiing in right there. He's heading over to the Bravo Concourse, which is kind of interesting. This guy making a non-stop service today excuse me, in from Colorado Springs, and this guy's gonna be continuing today out to Northwest Arkansas. And the Envoy Retro Ember Ear J-170 is currently making a non-stop service today in from uh, 
Let's go with uh, Louisville for him today. And this guy's gonna be continuing today over to uh, Tallahassee, very nice. And then there is an Airbus E321 right there on the edge. This guy's gonna make a non-stop service today in from uh, Charlotte. And this guy's gonna have a continuing service today over to Salt Lake City. So quite a nice lineup to say the least of American Airlines aircraft over here. And then over here on your right, we have various other aircraft here at Concourse C. We have an American Airlines 777 er in the One World livery. This guy is currently coming in from Honolulu and continuing out to Kahului. So nice uh, Hawaii push right there as per usual. American Airlines Airbus E321 Neo. This guy is currently coming in today from, let's go with Seattle for him. This guy is continuing out to Orlando. They substitute quite a bit, but there are some revenue flights. Uh, American Airlines 737 right here. This guy is currently coming in from San Diego and this guy is continuing out to St. Thomas, which I'm not sure if that's still uh, going at this point uh, seasonally, but nevertheless, uh, why not? We're here, so we might as well throw it in. Uh, American Airlines 737-800, this guy's currently coming in today on a non-stop service today from, um, I'm not sure if Pensacola's in the lineup right now or not, I really have no idea, but we'll say he's coming in from Pensacola, this guy's going to continue out to Cleveland, and then American Airlines Airbus E-318 to finish off Concourse C, this guy's going to make an a non-stop service today in from Bogota, well, never mind, excuse me, let's, let's back up from Bogota, let's go with Wichita for this guy, and this guy's going to continue up to, um, Pittsburgh and of course uh, Pennsylvania. So quite a nice lineup right there to say the least of those aircraft. I'll actually get those uh, taxing aircraft here in a minute. I wanna take advantage of the sliding while we have it right here on terminal A and B, which looks really nice. So let's get started. Here's American Airlines Airbus E320 currently right here. This guy's gonna be making a nonstop service today in from Milwaukee and this guy's continuing out to New Orleans. This Airbus E321 Neo is currently making a non-stop service today in from Phoenix, and this guy's uh, going to be heading over to the uh, Chicago O'Hare area following that. And then right here on the fade of lights, so hopefully we can get some pretty good uh, lighting on it. It looks pretty good considering how far down the sun is. Mercury Airlines Airbus E320. This guy's here making a non-stop service today in from Savannah, Georgia. This guy's going to be continuing today over to Memphis. And a variety of mainline aircraft, so I'm just going to put uh, set this down nice and gently and just start uh, showing you guys all these. American Airlines Airbus E319 with fence tips. This guy's currently coming in today from uh, Des Moines and this guy's continuing today over to Eugene. Then we have Airbus E321. This guy's kind of making a non-stop service today in from Portland and this guy's going to be continuing out to Puerto Vallarta uh, here in a moment from the International Concourse once it gets towed over. And then we have American Airlines Airbus E321 with sharklets down there. This guy's currently coming in today from Austin and this guy's continuing out to Ontario. Then we have a uh, E321 with fence tips. This guy's currently coming in today from San Diego. This guy's going to be having a continuing service out to Las Vegas. See if we can get a little bit better view for you guys up there. There we go. American Airlines Airbus E319 with fence tips. This guy's currently coming in today from um, Montreal. And this guy's going to have a continuing service today over to um, Shreveport, which is an interesting route to say the least. Reno Air 737-800 is currently coming in today from Reno, Nevada. And this guy's continuing out to Cosmel. Uh, he'll be making his way over to the International Concourse here in a minute. Airbus E320. 20 right there. Yes, that is. This guy's currently coming in from Austin. This guy's continuing out to Destin for Juan Beach. And some beautiful lighting, so we'll get that American Airlines 737-800 right there in the uh, beautiful Chrome Heritage paint scheme if the camera will cooperate. There we go. This guy's currently making a non-stop service today. We'll say this guy's currently coming in from Oklahoma City, and this guy's going to have a continuing service today up to New York Gordia. So quite a nice lineup right there to say the least. I normally wouldn't do the 1.8s right here, but since we're right in front of it, we might as well get it here. Uh, so here's the American Airlines Boeing 777-200ER. This guy's here making a non-stop service today up to Kona. And this guy came in earlier today from Miami on a maintenance flight. I want some more uh, heavy aircraft. That would be nice on those domestic routes, but we did get our fair share, so I can't complain too much. Excuse me, this American Airlines Airbus A320 is currently making a non-stop service in from Washington, Reagan. This guy's gonna be continuing today out to Phoenix. This CRJ-700 for SkyWest is currently making a non-stop service today out to the um, Lubbock area. And this guy came in earlier from Knoxville. This 737-800 right here is currently making a non-stop flight today in from uh, Albuquerque. And this guy's going to have a continuing service today over to St. Louis. And then the absolutely stunning British Airways Airbus A380-800 is currently making a non-stop service today in from London Heathrow, of course. This guy's making his turnaround flight back out there. We'll say that this guy, I know it's kind of unrealistic for him to be here during this time with all those other international carriers. But we'll say this guy pretty much uh, ended up having to stay overnight and got severely delayed, unfortunately. There was no major delays just like that, but I wanted to keep it kind of realistic because that was definitely way off for the time frame. So there's another beautiful view if my camera will focus for you guys. There we go. 
go. So very nice lineup right there to say the least. And also I apologize if I'm being a little bit vague with some of these routes. I did not get to do uh, research that I really, really wanted to. And we're kind of on a time crunch, unfortunately, for some of these updates. So I promise I'll do a much better job for the winter updates to get some adequate information for y'all because you guys most certainly deserve it. And uh, it would be really nice. So beautiful lighting right here, right on the tip there of sunset. So looking very nice. Here's the American Eagle Umber Ear Jadis 175. This guy's kind of making a non-stop service over to the, um, let's go with Springfield for him today. Uh, Missouri, that is. This guy I made our service today in from, uh, let's let's go with, uh, I'm trying to think of some really good 175 routes for you guys. Uh, change it up some. It's funny because I have them all right here on my face. I'm just trying to give you guys some varieties. Uh, El Paso. And then we have the Piedmont American Airlines Service E319. This guy's kind of making a non-stop service uh, this guy's coming in from, um, how did I lost it? Uh, let's, let's say this guy's currently coming in from, uh, New Orleans and this guy's going to have a continuing service today, um, out to the, uh, Madison, Wisconsin area. American Airlines Boeing 787-9. This guy's currently making a non-stop service today out to Paris. This guy came in earlier today from, again, guys, not many domestic routes, so I'm sorry. Um, We'll just say a Philadelphia maintenance flight. I'm sorry that there's not. I wish there was more because it would really help. And I need to make sure that I'm not missing any international flights. So definitely expect that enhancement to come. American Airlines 737-800. This guy's currently making a non-stop service today in from San Jose in California. This guy's going to have a continuing service today out to Tampa in Florida. And here's another, uh, this is kind of a full fledged vegetable delivery. That's just a new design, if you will, with that logo. But here's the standard cancer of us A321. Uh, hopefully the Medal of Honor deliveries came in at this point. Very excited that Indie Models announced that. Keep in mind, it's August. So that model hopefully will be getting unboxed if it hasn't already very soon. I'm very excited for that. But nevertheless, this 321 is currently making a nonstop service today and from Los Angeles. And this guy's continuing today out to, uh, let's, let's, let's send this guy out to Las Vegas. I feel like that's a good destination for him. Continuing with specials, this One World 737-800 is currently making a non-stop service today in from Kalispell. This guy's going to have a continuing service today out to um, uh, Rally Durham. I never use Rally Durham enough. And then here we have this American Airlines Airbus A321. This guy's currently making a non-stop service today in from San Del Cabo. And this guy's continuing right here at this concourse out to Myrtle Beach. Alrighty, here we go with the American Eagle lineup. I uh, hope to get more room here because I have so many more aircraft now that I can utilize. I just, this is why I want to do a new format so bad. It's just, I did not have the adequate time over the summer to assess that. So uh, I wish I had more time. I really, I really do. I wish I had more time, multiple me's, and that would really help. But we'll begin right here with these two Mesa CRJ 900s. The first one's coming in from Birmingham, we're heading out to the Destin Fort Lauderdale Beach. The second one's coming in from Northwest Arkansas, continuing out to El Paso. Next frame, we have the Ember 175 Envoy. This guy's currently coming in from, um, uh, let's go Grand Rapids. This guy's continuing out to Greensboro or TPA Avenue Airport. Then we have the Mesa CRJ-900. This guy's currently making a non-stop flight today in from uh, Cedar Rapids, and this guy's continuing out to Fort Wayne. Next, we have this Ember Ear J-175. I know I have a lot of Santa Barbara viewers, so I do not know if this is A319 or Ember 175 this month, so I apologize. So I'm actually gonna do you guys really well. I'm gonna find two, an A319 and give you guys that, but I'm also gonna give you guys this Ember 175, and he's gonna be doing a full turnaround. This is TPA at Geeks Airport too. So full turnaround, uh, Santa Barbara flight, you guys are gonna love it. So there it is right there. They're very nice. This American Eagle Umber Ear J-175 is currently making a non-stop service today in from uh, Dayton, Ohio. And this guy's gonna be having continuing service today up to, oh, let's see. Uh, well, let me see if I can find a really cool one here. Um, making sure that I can find one. Traverse City, very nice. So quite a nice lineup there to finish out the rest of the concourse for Tournament B. And I'm excited to see where Tournament B goes. I think it has a bright future and maybe even a Tournament F sometime. This Exojet um, Challenger, or yeah, Assess Citation, X is currently making a non-stop service in from Fort Lauderdale. This guy is continuing out to um, Van Nuys. So quite a cool flight there for him. American Airlines Airbus A321, US Airways Heritage Paint Team. This guy's currently making a service today in from Seattle. This guy's gonna have a continuing service today over to the uh, Denver area. There we go. And this Ember Ear JS-175 is currently making a non-stop service today. And from Amarillo, this guy's gonna have a continuing service today over to, um, let's go with Gainesville. And this Mesa House livery, or not House livery, but just Mesa CRJ-900 is currently coming in from Memphis. And this guy's going to have a continuing flight today out to Sioux Falls, South Dakota. 
And this American Airlines Airbus E319 is going to be very special. This guy's coming in from Santa Barbara, uh, also with all those airports. But this is the new mainline service up to Bakersfield, which is very impressive. It's two daily E319s, which is very impressive with Bakersfield's progression. You know, they've went from not necessarily nothing, but a very small establishment of American now, two daily A319s. I don't know if this will be a seasonal thing or turn into a new thing, but very proud with their efforts here. And I think they've done an exceptional job to get to this point thus far. So congratulations to Bakersfield, California. You guys are doing awesome. And that is really cool to see, to say the very least. And here is this Ember Ear Data 175. Um, I think I got this one, but if I didn't, we're going to say this guy's currently making a service today in from uh, Louisville, and this guy's continuing out to Omaha, Nebraska. All righty. Uh, here is this lineup. Let me see if I can get a better view. Uh, let's actually pan around. We'll, we'll actually end over there for quite different because we never do that. So let's get these uh, regional aircraft right here currently hanging out at the E hangar. Uh, east hangar, excuse me. Normally these are at the west hangar when they're resting, so I apologize, it's the only hangar that I currently have, but this is why the DFW master plan will be awesome. But currently, as you can see, we have an Emerald 145 and a uh, Emerald 175 currently hanging out for uh, Envoy. Both of them are Envoy, so it's pretty nice. Very special lineup over here. You got the PSA 319, the Air Cal 737, and the 737 Max 8. These guys are all currently hanging out. They'll be getting some service soon and be heading out to their respective destinations. Very nice. Let me know if you guys would like to see me enhance the uh, hangar area even more. I think there's definitely things I can do with it, and I am more than interested in doing those. So let me know what you guys think. So you will find this Trip 7300ER right here. This guy's heading out to London later. Then we got a double in 787-8 right there, and this 787-8 is going to be Seoul. And then this 777-300 will also be London here in a little bit. So quite a nice uh, variety there of heavies. Those guys are currently getting worked on, and they'll be heading out there soon. This American Airlines 787-9 is currently getting some heavy maintenance done. He'll be heading back out. Love this Stratus folding set. Very, very nice piece. I'm glad I was able to get it. So it's definitely uh, been a huge part, to say the least. So I've enjoyed that. The Northeast cargo ramps also looking good. We have two FedEx aircraft. The 767-300 freighters currently coming in from, uh, let's go with, let's, uh, if I'm completely off here, I apologize. But let's say this guy's coming in from Los Angeles. He's continuing out to Indianapolis. This DC-10 is making the uh, turnaround out to Memphis. What a beautiful airplane. That looks really nice. Primary 767-300 ER is currently coming in, or freighter, excuse me, uh, Cincinnati is going to be turning back out there. I think they have a really good establishment going there, so that's very exciting. And the uh, Kalita uh, DHL Hybrid 767-300, sorry about that. But what I was saying is we'll actually keep them Kalita today just to keep it, um, you know, the model is really nice and I want to use Kalita. So this guy's currently coming in from Phoenix, and he's going to be continuing today up to Orlando. So quite nice there, to say the least. And a couple of final aircraft to finish this out for today's airport update. Here's the Spirit Airbus E320. This guy's currently rotating. This guy's making a non-stop service today over to uh, Las Vegas. This guy came in earlier today from, um, I think we have St. Louis, so we'll say St. Louis. If not, I apologize. Lutonsis Airbus E340-300 is currently taxiing off the runway. This guy made a non-stop service in from Frankfurt, of course. They've been doing really well. Uh, I've been very happy with this effort. So this guy's going to be heading back out there, of course. Another final tear here of RJ's. Here's the SkyWest CR7. This guy's currently coming in today from Colorado Springs. This guy's continuing out to, um, uh, let's let's go Flagstaff. The Umbra Ear J-145 is currently coming in today from Alexandria, Louisiana. And this guy's continuing today out to Brand Brownsville. I believe that's Texas. CRJ-900 is currently texting in. Uh, nice uh, angle there to see the fix. That's quite nice. This guy's currently coming in today from um, San Antonio. And this guy's, I know, San Antonio is weird to see on there. And this guy's going to be uh, continuing today up to, uh, that's it. I don't, I can't see that for sure. I have a route that looks interesting, but I can't read it. So I'm not going to say if I don't know it. Keelan, Texas. Uh, 737-800. Sorry about the angle, but might as well just knock it out. This guy's currently coming in today from Kansas City. And this guy's continuing today up to um, Austin. And lastly, the beautiful McDonald's or uh, DC 10 or MD 11, I'm sorry for UPS, currently coming in from Louisville, continuing out to Ontario. And I do have one final section for today's airport update that I keep forgetting because it's a mess over here. It will not be like this again. And I do have some talking to do about um, even more enhanced efforts to come. So here's the 757 200. This guy's coming in from San Antonio, continuing out to Miami. The UPS 767-300 freighter is currently coming in today from Louisville, and this guy's going to be continuing back out there. The Airbus E300 freighter is currently coming in today from Las Vegas, and he's continuing today over to um, Houston Air Continental. Very nice. 
Alrighty, so that will do it for today's Dallas Fort Worth International Airport update. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. Just want to say I apologize if it seems like there was um, not a ton of elaboration compared to usual. Uh, I did not want to mess it up because I did not get adequate time to research some of the different routes, but I know that there was a couple things like I mentioned I knew for sure. So I promise I'll do a better job to hopefully finally get another thorough evaluation. I just did not have the time to get to look through all that. So. Uh, but it's all good. It happens. And I'm um, very excited for what's to come, though. I think Dallas has a very bright future ahead. Hopefully, the Auckland service ended up starting for American. I did not feature that just because I don't know if it did. So we'll believe it when I see it. And then, of course, you have that going on. And then the Bakersfield main line is really cool. Um, I think Lima Pro is ending next month. So big shout out to Lima. It's been a really cool route, to say the least. And um, don't know if there's been any other changes. Hopefully, some cool announcements. I'm sure going into the fall that there's been some big announcements. But yeah, hopefully, college and everything's going well so far. Um, honestly, I have no idea where all that status is going to be, but hopefully you guys have um, been enjoying hopefully some content from that. I, I not decided what I want to do there, but hopefully some days in the life and different things like that and just some various videos in general. But hopefully the schedule's still been relatively good. I've been taking precautions obviously this summer to hopefully ensure that there's been a uh, plenty of airport updates and just content in general. So I hope you guys have been enjoying it so far. It's been a pleasure to say the least, and I'm excited to see what's to come in the future. So I hope you guys are too. And again, once again, I apologize uh, for uh, the pre-recording as well. Um, it's just unfortunately the only logistical way I thought that this would be possible to get the feature everything and, you know, have the updates. But the good news is we got all the main routes. You guys, you, you guys know the drill at this point. So been happy with that. Excited for new models. Medal of Honor will be awesome and all the other ones. So very excited. I hope you guys are too. And with all that being said, that will do for today's Dallas Fort Worth International Airport update. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really hope you guys enjoyed today's video. My name is Redditor of Aviation. I want to thank you guys so much for watching. Take it easy, everybody. Stay safe. Trust the process. Do what you love and love what you do. My name is Redditor of Aviation. I want to thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys soon as Redditor of Aviation is signing off.